Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a cloud advocate working at Microsoft, and I'm going to show you how you can use Cloud Shell directly from Visual Studio Code. Here I'm in Cloud Shell, and it's great that I can use this web based solution to basically access my Cloud Shell. However, sometimes I want to use um, my local tools um, and directly connect to my Cloud Shell. So let's open up Visual Studio Code here. And the only thing I already have done is I have installed the Azure account extension. If we have a quick look at that extension, I can see you do a, can do a couple of things like sign in to my Azure account, uh, have a look at my subscription. But very interestingly, I, I have a command to open Bash and PowerShell in Cloud Shell. So let's do that. Let's open up uh, the commands and say open bash in Cloud Shell. Uh, since I'm already signed in, I only need to select the tenant I want to use. And this will now connect me to my Cloud Shell. Let's zoom in here a little bit. So you can see here, I'm now connected uh, to my bash experience. If I have a quick look here, you can see I'm running now in, in a Linux container. Um, so my Azure, con my Azure Cloud Shell is a Linux container. I can also browse, I can go to my cloud drive. I can see here that I have my scripts folder. I can exit the script folder and you can see I have the files I have stored uh, on that cloud drive. I can also exit that and I can obviously also connect to the PowerShell experience if I want to. So let's open up PowerShell cloud drive here uh, in my Visual Studio code. And again, it connects me and signs me in um, and auto implicates me directly to my Azure experience. And then I can also reuse the Azure drive, for example, to basically list all my subscriptions. So this is how you can use the Azure Cloud Shell directly from Visual Studio Code.